was the year 1965. The Cold War was as it at its height. Italy and the NATO felt a huge threat from the USSR and America because they were spying on them. They decided to lo find a location to build two huge radio jammers on top of a mountain. That's where we are standing today. These radio jammers are on top of the, one of the highest mountains in Italy. It's about 3,000 meters high here. And uh, these things are around 30 meters high and they were used in the Cold War to block the radio signals from the USSR. They were very effective and in 1995 they had uh, done their purpose and they were abandoned. That's where we're looking at today and we're going to take you on a tour throughout this NATO base and these incredible radio jammers. Hello guys, I welcome you back to another incredible story on the channel of Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, behind the camera is my brother Jordi and we are filming in an insane location today. Behind me you can see a radio jammer that was used in the Cold War to block the radio signals of the USSR and America. It's about 30 meters high. I just climbed it, I went to the top of there. You can see a little shot of it now. But uh, yeah, we slept here last night inside of the bunker that we are going to show in a minute. And I woke up to my, this morning, went outside of the bunker and I had this incredible view of the Alpine mountains. In the back you can see snowy mountains over here, it's greenery. It's just beautiful over here. I just woke up in heaven. Wow. Let's check out the other radio tower, Jordi. As most of you know, Italy was involved in the Cold War because they were allies of uh, Germany. So they had a bit of a bad reputation and that's why the USSR wanted to spy on them. And that's why they built in the collaboration with the NATO, these insane radio jammers. When I first got here, I thought it was satellites, but after doing some research, we found out that there were radio jammers. So that's pretty, uh, yeah, pretty cool that we uh, found the history of this place. As you can see, these are all metal plates that they put on here. There are thousands of them on there. And when you stand in front of the structure, you get a real sense how high it is. Okay, over there you got two big towers. They send out signals into the, into the, into the uh, radio jammer blockers and then I don't know how ex exactly how it works, but these always send out signals. These things. Let's go inside, let's check out where we slept last night. Over here you can see we had a, yeah, we slept here last night. It was pretty cold actually, it was like five degrees outside. We're gonna clean it up afterwards, all of this, because it was pretty epic to sleep inside of this bunker of the NATO. Let's check out the rest of this place. It was actually pretty creepy because this hallway last night was completely dark. <laughs> you can go from that side of the bunker all the way to the other side of the bunker. In here were all the people from the NATO and they were constantly uh, looking out for threats from the USSR and looking uh, for uh, radio jams to block and from airplanes that coming in and stuff like that to warn the army in front of uh, before they before they uh, entered Italy over here you have a few rooms they are mostly empty that's unfortunate but uh, yeah I just want to show it to you guys so uh, they, that you get a sense of uh, where the NATO people slept let you go in front Charlie in 1995, the purpose of the building was not, uh, yeah, it was not needed anymore. Uh, there was no threat from the USSR anymore because the USSR fell. And uh, it was just uh, the modern day Russia now. And uh, the war was over, so they abandoned this place. Wow. What was this room? No idea. These huge pipes here, maybe this was the heating room for the buildings. That could be a possibility. I'm not quite sure. I like wandering through these build um, to these bunkers because yeah, it's just uh, such an old piece of history. It's unfortunate that they didn't restore the place and make it into a like museum, but yeah, for us it's better. But yeah, for the history, not. This might have been like a living room because you can see the, 
uh, sort of a wall uh, paper or wall tile that they put up here. So the, uh, the army guys, the NATO guys, they might have slept in here, they might have had their bedrooms and the kitchen and everything in here. Somebody has put a caravan here. What was this used for? Maybe some people made their home over here. That's a pretty cool place to camp. <laughs> now gonna take a look because we saw from the outside that there is also a control tower up here. Two flights up. Let's have a look. Looks like somebody has lit a fire in here. Oh wow. <laughs> now we're coming to the attic of the building. Here there's some sort of a control tower or a lookout tower. Let's take you inside. Oh, this is pretty difficult. Coming up, Charlie? Yeah. I'm now standing inside of the lookout tower, as you can see. And here I would look out over the valley looking for bomber planes, for uh, incoming aircrafts and just all around threats. Wow, they even had a latch in here. Come have a look, Charlie. Look at this. Open it up. Wait. Oh, it's rusty. <laughs> Not gonna do that. But wow, this is amazing to see. Looks like gunshots in here. Look over there. Yeah. You think they shot in here or something like that? That's possible, or maybe people destroyed the windows. Yeah. Also possibility. Also possibility, because this is a pre pretty well-known place. But over there, you can see the satellites from the back, wow. and the sky is clearing up. That's also very nice. I want to give you one last beautiful overview of the back of the satellites, the bunker over here. Just incredible scenery around this place. Then I'm going to end off the video over here behind these incredible clouds. And I want to thank you so much for watching this week's video. I loved sleeping here, I loved exploring these abandoned bunkers and these satellites. And I want to thank you and uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. The link for the Patreon will be down below. If you have the money, support us a little bit because these travels are expensive and we can use the money very well. Thank you very much for watching. We enjoyed it. Thank you and uh, we will see you next week. Bye bye. Love you.